Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tex. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a higher 23 inch TFT LED TV. Model LE32B7000. Not turning on but has a standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and found it informative, so make sure to show your support by liking and subscribing. You can also ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. condensation. I have good heaters and I have new shields. That helps a lot. Yeah, you can get those automatic or those new heaters. You wrap them around. The TV is not turning on so let's check the voltages. Let's first measure the 12 volts main supply. The reading is stable at 12.5 volts. This linear voltage regulator reading is stable at 1.8 volts. Let's measure the DC to DC buck converters. The voltage is stable at 1.2 volts. This DC to DC buck converter voltage reading is stable at 5.0 volts. And the EEPROM VCC voltage is also stable at 3.3 volts. Seems all the voltages are normal. There is no indication of a bloated capacitor that may cause the TV to not power on. There is a way to detect whether the EEPROM firmware or the Ultimate One chip is defective. That is by heating up the Ultimate One chip by using a hot air gun. If the TV turns on, that means the EEPROM firmware is OK and the Ultimate One chip is defective. Heat up the ultimate one chip at about 500 degrees Celsius in 30 seconds. As you can see the TV turns on. But that's not mean the TV is ok now. If the ultimate one chip is cold down or unplugged from the main, it will not turn on again.
One minute, 37 seconds later. The TV is not turning on again. Even if you heat up the ultimate one chip for a longer time or higher temperature the symptom will still remains and you could totally destroy the ultimate one chip or UOC. Let's remove the hybrid board so we can remove the UOC better. So let's remove the UOC and replace it.
It almost touches the UOC of the other component. If that happens the surrounding components will easily be removed and that's a disaster. One of the tabs flake off. I have a donor board that has the same UOC part number, let's remove it and replace it with the bad UOC. Let's clean the UOC with paint thinner. The ultimate one chip or UOC has a little bit of corrosion, I hope this still working. The UOC is clean now and ready to solder in place, before that. Let's platen this extra soldering lead so the UOC pins reach the pads. We will not remove the soldering lead because the UOC also solders to the bottom and serves as a heat sink. I fixed the flake off pads. Let's solder only one pin on this side. And also one pin on the other side, so the UOC pins will stay in alignment with the soldering pads, before we solder it with the heat gun.
Let's apply some flux before finally soldering it with the hot air gun. Slightly press down the UOC so the pins and the pads will solder together. Let's clean it with paint thinner. Check if the pins are properly soldered and if there are bridges between them. Seems they are all solder properly and no bridge between the pins. Let's try if we have an improvement. As you can see the light indicator is responding. Let's reassemble it and see if we are successful. Let's not fast forward or cut any portion of the video while resembling so we actually test the UOC while it gets cold. And see if the TV will still turn on.
Let's support my brother's channel, his content is repairing power amplifiers, power tools, audio mixers, and other audio equipment. Please visit his channel, Glenn Tips, and subscribe. Let's help his channel to grow. Thanks. The TV turns on even when the UOC is cold. The TV seems working now. This ultimate one ship is really defective. A few moments later. The TV is now working great, even if we struggle with the soldering of the ultimate one chip, we still make it successful in fixing the TV. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel by showing your support by liking, subscribing and joining as a member. Once again, this is Taps. see you again next time. Bye for now.